Okay, so then I'm back. Uh, I can't really understand why people are always calling uh, me about some uh, uh, research on the twins. For some reason, they seem unable to contact my sister about this. <laughs> uh, I guess I can't jump there. I should have gone around to get uh, to that place. Is that the memory I see? Yes, it is. With the house, I think. And this is a secret. <laughs> it looked a little malplaced when I knew there was something there. onto it. Uh, and I was correct about it being the house. Whoever destroys a soul destroys the world. There is much wisdom in that, Alice. Um, so was there something here? Oh, I can jump. This is a major slide run. Through the fishes. Um, why? Um, I think the other pot contained more tea. Maybe I should have gone there. Aha. At least I got the golden one. Oh, a new enemy. He's going to puke at me. Ah. Oh no, you don't. Ah. like being food. Oh. What? He ran away? Uh. 
Okay. I hadn't really done much to him. And here's a dead fish. The snout. Where is the snout? Is it in here? Oh, the lost heart piece. supposed to do uh, here there's no time to waste there's no time at all this again kill or be killed this time ah. I was the one who killed at least the first round. to do it and there's the Camellas don't double you've already missed the train yay a new rose childboard lessons I haven't uh, seen any of those I think that pig ah oh, it's invisible okay I haven't seen anything like that before Every picture tells a story. Oh, Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. And the shrimp has a saw in his head. Um, 
I guess this I'm going to go at last. Maybe there's something to collect here. No? Okay, I'll just go in then. There's the uh, bottle fish thing and the octopus. And the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show! Does that pencil go through his ear? Rather bizarre show. That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humour. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Labourers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little prance. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident, you want someone to blame. Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get in line, creatures. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? Oh no! Who oh, set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived, and it's more horrible even than you can currently imagine! The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! I guess I'm leaving Wonderland again for a while now. Yep. What? Oh, the blood in my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money he didn't earn. What were you thinking, button into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions, and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in her inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honesty is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped, eyes like pinwheels, drooled, occasionally screeched, but never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Gone off some lurkers. Common as cockroaches, and those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or a spider's feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing. 
as you know. Nurse Whitler said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hookin's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. <sighs> don't I know it. Harry Potter is useless. Okay. Uh, is this him? No. Is it that uh, chubby guy from uh, earlier? Uh, probably in here. Here to the ground, Bill. Yeah, I've been scouting around. No cat to lead me this time. For that, I'd be glad to shake your hand, sir. Considering the nature. Just wait a little. 